Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, nice to meet you. My name is Reja. Today I'm doing you a, a little mini reviews of the stuff that I've been using. These are base products. I'll do try to do um, a video of the palettes that I have tried for the next week uh, because um, I want to try the Udensai Sul, Sul Mone uh, eyeshadow palette more because I have had only time to try it once when I filmed the first impressions of the palette and I'll, I don't know if I'll do a ranking or just some mini reviews of the palettes that I have been testing. So but today we are doing base products. Also I would like to say that uh, at the moment I'm doing only two videos a week and I think um, I'll try to do them on Wednesday and Saturday um, just you know because it's it, I've been quite busy I haven't been able to film so I'm filming this like day before you are seeing this. Um, but yeah, let's start with the, uh, some um, uh, kind of single products that I have kind of um, that I've been enjoying very much. One of them is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, the um, new version. Uh, this is amazing. It's so moisturizing. It actually feels like just a moisturizer, but it's very lightweight and it sinks into into the skin very fast and leaves very nice moisturized feeling for the skin and this is I really like this I've been using it quite a lot but then um, the other one which um, I bought because Tia recommended it is the Essence Fix at Last Makeup Gripping Jelly Primer which is supposed to prob kind of be the dupe of the Milk Makeup uh, Gripping Primer um, to be honest I haven't noticed anything different when using this one. Mm, maybe the makeup stays put a bit better and my nose isn't uh, so much. Um, my nose is always the first where the, all the makeup is gone. But I've been liking it um, and using it. As you can see, I have used it quite a lot already. Also, I'm sorry, I have to keep the fan on. It's so hot. A bit of coffee and then because I couldn't find uh, the Essence Lash Princess Fast Lash Effect Mascara uh, it was sold out uh, where I went so I bought the La uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise in waterproof this one um, I actually like this more than the Essence one just uh, the wand it's huge like compared to the essence one it's huge but this um it lengthens my lashes more than the essence one and it gives um gives an um um volume more um this is annoying to use in the lower lashes because the wand is so big but I've been really enjoying this anyway like really nice mascara it's good to adventure sometime out of the comfort zone then um, I have spoken to you about uh, that I found out that uh, the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink wasn't the thing that sm smelled and tasted bad which was the reason I didn't use it so I've been buying tons of these and like, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have like about 20-ish of them, different shades. Um, the formula is not the best. It, it's not the most comfortable on the lips. And if you have very dry lips, then I don't suggest to use this because um, I think it will kind of uh, stick to the dry spots and make the li lips look very bad but this is like bulletproof i mean i have added it now and at the evening i still have to um you know scrub to get the rest of them off that's why i like it i don't have to keep adding it all the time and yeah it's like bulletproof very nice very nice then let's do a couple size stuff because I have been testing 
testing the uh, blush and the highlighter more than the palette. Um, but first, this blush uh, I highlighter from Uden's I I got in the mystery box that I ordered. This is from Norn's collection. Whale of Future is the name of it. And it looks like this. I have it on today. It's very gold highlighter, which is not my favorite, but the formula is very nice. It's glittery. If you don't like glittery highlighters, then I suggest you avoid, avoid this one and the other highlighters too. Um, but it's good to have a gold highlighter uh, anyway, because like it went, went very well with this look. Um, so yeah, I really like the formula and Actually, are these? I think these are still available. I'm pretty sure they are. And this is the Norns Veil of Future. And then from the Sul Mone collection, I ordered one blush and one highlighter. I ordered matte blush called Sunset Clouds, which I have on today. It's this kind of like a muted pinkish mauve blush. I don't quite have this kind of shade in my collection. Um, these are very pigmented. They are pit powdery. Um, just to note you, but these are very pigmented. They blend easily. It looks very beautiful on the skin. And yeah, it's like um, they are pricey, but I think they are worth it. Let's put it this way. And then the highlighter from that collection that I ordered was Azura Shine, which has the blue, blue reflection on it. I don't know if you can see it. There you see it. And this is also very glittery, but very beautiful. And this highlight just doesn't, don't um, en enhance your um, texture or anything like that. But this is also very glittery. So if you don't like glittery highlighters, then I wouldn't. Uh, recommend that for you but if you do like it there uh, you can build put put them on very blinding or you can use a little less and get a um, little um, uh, not so blinding look with them then I want to talk about the blushes um, I haven't been really talking about them since I've bought them um, I think first time I ordered the Mango Dakiri and Sweet Cheeks, which are the orange and pink. And I really love this formula. It's so beautiful. The Mango Dakiri, uh, not really my shade. I don't really like orange or yellow blushes, but um, it's good to have one anyway. So I, these were the first that I bought. Then a little while ago, I ordered the shades a Shy Boy and Posy Rosy which are more of pinkish. This posy, no, no, this is a shy boy. It looks kind of like a neutralist, but it actually, it is quite pink. And then the posy rosy is just, you know, deeper version of this sweet cheeks. This is, this is posy rosy. But the formula is very nice. They are extremely pigmented. So be careful if you're trying them first time because uh, you might end up half face with uh, blush. Um, I also have a contour shade, uh, I'm a bronzer shade, I think it was Shady Business, and I also like that really much, very much. It's beautiful. They they are easy to blend, they work with brush, they work with um, a sponge, and yeah, they're just really, really nice blushes and highlighter, uh, no highlighter. Um, bronzer or contour. They have now released the highlighter uh, blush versions, the blush lights, but I haven't ordered any of those. Um, I don't know, they just don't interest me that much. Then I have stuff that I have bought from Sheen. I have done Foolish Face of Sheen, but not. I haven't used all of these products in there. So let's start with the foundation, the Skin Finite Hydrating Foundation. This is excellent foundation. I'm wearing it today. I have the shades Honey and Shell. 
A shell is a bit too light and honey is a bit too dark. So I'll mix these two together like today. And I really like this. It's, it doesn't dry my skin. It doesn't enhance my texture and it blends easily. It has nice coverage and yeah, it's just good. And you can work with brush or a sponge with that too. I like to use sponge on my foundations. But yeah, I really like that. Well, I ordered this another shade, so that tells a lot. Uh, then the concealer. This is the 12 hour love wear concealer. I have the shades Madeline and I think Vanilla. The Vanilla is a bit too light, but I can use it at winters. But I ordered a darker shade uh, for the spring. This is I have this on today on, on my under eyes and you know. Very nice formula. It's not drying, which is very important to me because I have dry skin. And it's not easy for me to find foundations on concealers that don't dry my skin up. So I'm very happy that I um, decided to try the Sheeklam foundation and concealer. Um, in my last order I from Sheen, the whole video is coming soon. I'm sorry I'm reviewing this before the whole video, but I haven't gotten my clothes yet. It's just, just um, in transit delayed. So this is the baked glow, glow setting powder in the shade translucent. And I really like this. I have this on today too. And as you can see, I'm not totally matte. It doesn't make me totally matte. And it, it doesn't it, it's not very, very, very blurring, but it doesn't enhance my texture either. This far, I've been liking it. Yeah, it's a nice powder. As you know, I have only few powders, and the only one that I have really, really liked is the ABH one. Uh, then I have the blush, uh, metallic glow blush in shade Jazz Magic. Um, this is kind of purpley and it has glitter on it so it's uh, shimmering um, so you, if you don't like shimmering blushes then this is not for you but I really like this this is also a shade that I really don't have in my collection and I don't have too many um, um, shimmering blushes either so I really like this one the formula is nice it's easy to blend and yeah it's just very good blush and then I have the uh, color at sculpt stick. I think mine was coffee and gold. So on the other hand, uh, other end, I think this could be. I've been using it as a contour, but it's maybe better to use as a bronzer. Uh, haven't used the highlighter. I just the formula is nice, but as you know, I don't really tend to use gold highlighters. And if I do, I use the uh, wooden side one. So, but I have used the contour side quite a lot as a contour. Uh, and the formula is nice. It's also easy to blend. It doesn't, you know, stick to your face, so you can't blend it anymore very fast, which is very nice. Oh, I forgot to say about the concealer of She Clam that um, I suggest you do like. Uh, don't use it to hold your face everywhere you need it at once because it dries quite fast and then it's hard to blend. So like I do, I do my under eyes first, I blend them, then I'll do my uh, nose and um, smile lines and such and blend and then I'll do the rest of the face and blend because it dries quite fast and then it's really, really hard to blend. Uh, then I have the uh, Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour and Bronzer, which is weird for me because the uh, contour, the, the bottle that says contour is warm and the bottle that says bronzer is cold um, shade. So I have the shades Golden Sun and Soft Tan. Golden Sun I use as a bronzer and because I really like this formula, I ordered the uh, soft tan for contouring in my last order from Shein. 
and I really like it. They're very easy to blend. They're not overly pigmented, but they have pigment. Uh, so you don't have to build up, build and build up all the time for it. And the shades are really nice. I like them on my skin tone. And then I have the uh, Color Bloom Liquid Blushes from Chiclam. I ordered another shade in my last order. So now I have the shades Devoted and Love Cake. So Devoted is this kind of orangey shade. Which I don't understand why I ordered it because I don't like like an orange blush. But Love Cake is more pinky. Pinky make it maybe mauve shade. And yeah, this formula is excellent in this format. When they're on this, it's excellent. Just remember to shake them before using. They have pearl inside to shake them. Okay. Then what else? What else? Okay, the revolution order I did a little while ago. First of all, this setting spray I have been using non-stop after I got this. It's really nice. Um, and if you want, uh, this is matte. And if you want glow, glowy skin, you can use glowy setting spray on it. But this has definitely made my uh, face stay on longer. Than it used to and I use it the way that I like first I'll do my foundation and concealer I spray my face then I'll do cream products if I use cream products or powder and then I'll use the setting spray again and then I'll add the cheek product and then I'll use the setting spray and again it elongates the wear time of the of the makeup very well um, then this Revolution, uh, Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in light. This has fastly become my favorite cream bronzer at the moment. You can see I have dipped in it somewhat, quite a lot. I like to use this with the sponge. Um, it's very pigmented, so I suggest be careful with it. Um, if you want more buildable, uh, bron cream bronzer, then I would suggest you to try the um, XX Revolution cream bronzer. But I really like this. It's it's very nice bronzer. Of course, this is the light. It's lightest shade that they have. It's quite dark, to be honest. But it works well, so I don't mind. I I. It's very nice. But I have it on today too under the other stuff. Uh, then I ordered the two, two Le Revolution Pro Lustre Blushers in the shade Pe Peach and Coral. And I love this. I didn't have a glowy blushes. I don't know why had, had I decluttered every glowing blush that I had. But these the shades are so beautiful. They are easy to work with. This is the kind of orange that I can wear. Well, peach. Um, it's not. It looks quite uh, bright in this, but it's really not. They're not like um, so pigmented that you are going to end up half face in blush. They are a bit buildable, and the sheen is very minimal it's not like a um, um, glow right to your face type of blush and i really like them uh, then the makeup obsession feels um, highlighter in the shade iced um, you know i like i see highlighters but this is a bit extreme which is why i haven't used it quite a lot like see it's this one it's so pigmented uh, that you end up looking like a what's the word like a shining warm or something you know the warms that shine in the dark uh, that's why i haven't used it that a lot this could actually you could use this as an 
um, eyeshadow because it is so pigmented so you have to be very careful with it if you are using it using it okay I think that was all today no wait I forgot to say what I have on my eyes I'm not going to link it in the description box uh, because I have to link these but I used the Gourmand Gold Spectra Palette. I'm working on a review with this one. I used the neutral shades in here. And that time of the year, I also used the neutral shades from here. And made, and black of course. I made like brown smoky eye. And then I topped the black with the shade Luna from Galactic Gourmand Palette. I don't know. It's hard to, you know, show the duo and multichromes on the camera. But yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new upload. And we will see you very soon. Bye!